Hello, FNAFers. The spring has come, and so did FNAF. This week, Daco revealed 19 brand new teasers of upcoming game Five Night of Freddy's Security Breach while his charity stream, and I'm here to analyze them. But before we start, I want to ask you to please subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos and press that like button. Now, I'll start analyzing the teasers in the same order as Daco revealed them on his charity stream. So, the first image we have here is just a logo of their place, which is Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. If we light up the picture, Nothing new will appear, so let's move on, on to the next one. This picture is called Utila Doors, which probably stands for Utility Doors. Now, you may recognize this place from the trailer, because at the end of the corridor we can see the arrows pointing to the pizza place and another points to the ladder. Uh, where the ladder leads, we still don't know, but that's not important. If we light it up and look at the left, we can see a gate, which we can assume is leading to the kitchen, judging by the picture of a fork and knife beside it. And at the right, we have another cargo which we also don't know where it leads. But let's move on onto the next one. Now, for this one, we did not get a name, but we did get a name for this character, which I think is Cleanbot. The Cleanbot is a character that we found out about on a website where Scott hires his voice actors for FNAF games. We already saw this place in the trailer, so there's not much to talk about. Some people say that they see here a L chip, but I see only like a pinata or something like that, but I don't see any L chips here. So yeah. Now, let's look at the laser tag area. First, we know its real name now, which is Phaser Blast, which I guess comes from Fazbear Blast. Also, we actually have two pictures of it, and here they are. First one is a picture of the arena, and second one is of the control center, or is it a uh, counter where you buy tickets? The picture themselves are awesome, but if you light them up, nothing new will appear, so there's nothing to talk about them. Now, let's race to the next pictures, cause we have Roxy's Raceway, and here we have two images. In the first two, we can see a corridor with racing decorations and a star sky ceiling which looks real cool. We can see a commercial of Chica in the Sea and I think it would be something like a... I don't know, another soda or something like that in the game. So yeah. We also can see um, something about Moondrop, like a candy or something like that. And also if FNAF 6 right racket right to be specific uh, which is a cool easter egg now let's go to the next one here we have actually four images first one is of the entrance of the golf course which looks real cool with all those glam rock freddy plushes and let me tell you these plushes look much better than those funkos and they also look super cute. <laughs> Nothing new will appear if you light it up. Next one. Here we have a sub lobby of Monty's Gator Cars. 
and I think we can see a sneak peek of Chica's area, which would be something like party rooms. At first I thought it uh, said let's duck, but then I noticed letter Y at the end uh, of the word and we don't see uh, the first letter so well, but it says let's party. So yeah, there is also a small golf themed ride as you can see. Now, then we have hall 13. And there is nothing to say here, except that the room looks like we're in somebody's stomach, uh, which looks pretty cool. We can also see a waterfall of green water coming, coming out of Morty the alligator mouth. So yeah, that's pretty good. The next picture is of hall 14, where we are coming out of alligator's mouth and yeah there's nothing to say here either so yeah uh, except the fact that it's probably the um, exit out of the uh, last area in the last picture so yeah let's move on onto the salon here we have the famous glam rock beauty salon and as you can see it is located at Roxy's Raceway and it also has something like gas station and this kind of reminds me of radiator springs from cars but yeah from all of the places in the teaser I want to see uh, more of the race area because it's pretty cool now we have a party room which I would say belongs to Glamrock Bonnie, but he's not in the game, well, for now. And so I guess it could be uh, Glamrock Chica's room, because uh, we did see a sign saying let's party, and party room it kind of would fit this catchphrase. So yeah, now let's look at the picture. It has signs of all the places we saw and will see. Playground, Monte Skater Course, I think, Phaser Blast, Roxy's Raceway, the famous Glam Rock Beauty Salon, and Bonnie's Bowl. We can see also a commercial of a soda from Fnaviar called Soda Roni, a pepperoni flavored soda. Now, I think that would kind of taste uh, strange, but yeah. Now, if we look on the stage, I think we can see some of the plushes. I think I even see a bunny plush over there. But it's hard to tell because of the graphics, so yeah. Also, is that balloon boys and balloon girls up there? Okay, now onto the green rooms. We have four green rooms for each animatronic. Chica, Roxy, Monty and Freddy. First one is Chica the Chicken. Here we can see a new poster with words fitness, food, and beauty, which probably indicates that uh, Glamrock Chica is into uh, like fitness, food, and beauty, of course. <laughs> and a lot of food related things in the room. But what I notice is that in the trailer the room is clean, but here it is really messy with all those pizza boxes like something happened here but more about that later now onto Roxanne the wolf room that kind of rhymed here we can see a lot of race related stuff and even a spot scar but the most interesting thing here is the arcade cabinet because as we can see at the side of it, there are pictures of Foxy and Fountain Foxy. But I have a question. Since when did Fountain Foxy become a mafia boss? <laughs> but putting jokes aside, I just want to say that this room looks real cool. Just like uh, the whole theme of a uh, sport car and all of that. Now, now, on to the next one which is King K. Ru, I meant 
Montgomery Gatorstrom. And this really reminds me of Donkey Kong games because of all jungle decorations and barrels. And even arcade cabinet looks like something from uh, Donkey Kong. And I think this room looks pretty cool as well. Also, I want to point out the fact that the walls are destroyed, well, damaged. Like somebody had a rage. And I have a theory about it, but it will be at the end. Now, the last room belongs to Freddy Fazbear himself. And not only he has a lot of plushes of himself, we can also notice that his door is open and it leads to something like backstage. And it's actually reminding me of the area we saw Salvager's hand in the trailer. But I'm not sure if that's the same area or different, so for now it's for us to theorize. Now, we also have drawings of kids uh, that look uh, like the ones from Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and Five Nights at Freddy's 2 and of course Five Nights at Freddy's 3 and this is a cool um, easter egg I guess if you could say so so yeah Now, this is epic this picture is called Sewer and on it we can see Glamrock Chica all withered, like she was scorched in a fire or something like that, or beaten up. And now, connecting the things I mentioned about the rooms and what we saw in the trailer, we can get this. After Chica had failed at her attempt of catching Gregory, glitch traps get mad. He possesses Montgomery, in rage he damages Montgomery's room. He goes to Chica's room and burns her and rips out her beak and her arm for the new animatronic for Glitch Drop to possess, who we know as Salvager. Now, that would be real cool, but for now, that's it. Subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos, press that like button, and remember, I always come back.